Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I'm your host, Constance Miller. For this episode, I've got two figures to review. The first is going to be Mantena for Masters of the Universe Origins. So in case you don't know, Masters of the Universe Origins is a relaunch of the classic 1980s toy line by Mattel. And it basically features the same style and design as the original toys, but with certain enhancements like better articulation. So let's take a look at Mantena. Alright, so here we go with Mantena, a member of the Evil Horde. And his one feature of the original figure was his pop-out eyes, which he has here. So that's really fun, a very retro aspect to the figure. He doesn't get much of a look down, but he does get a look back. Slight pivot to the head as well as the side to side. Lateral lift in the arms is nice. We get single jointed elbows and a wrist flex. There's a turnable waist. And he has four legs each of them getting a pretty decent lateral lift. There is a, well, a slight bend in the knees. Single jointed. And then you get a boot turn for each leg. And you get a foot flex forward and back, as well as the rocking side-to-side -side motion. Now we'll take a look at his accessory. Mantena comes with this crossbow, which hooks, press down, and it fires. It's really basic. But each member of the Evil Horde has one, so Hordak and Leech both have one. Now let's get a good look at the antenna. Up next we have MJ from Spider-Man No Way Home by Marvel Legends, as portrayed by Zendaya. Alright, now here's going to be our look at MJ from Spider-Man No Way Home by Marvel Legends. Alright, here we're going to go through articulation for MJ. The likeness to Zendaya is actually pretty decent. It's not perfect, but if you were just to show this figure to me, Randomly, I would be like, that's Zendaya. So that's really nice. She gets an excellent look down. And a good look back despite her ponytail. That's awesome. There's a lateral lift in the arms. Shoulder turn. No bicep turn. Single jointed elbow. The wrist flex doesn't really happen so much because of the sleeves of her sweater. She doesn't get much of a crunch forward, nor much of a crunch back. She does have a turnable waist. Lateral lift in the leg is decent. 
There's the thigh turn. Multifunctional double jointed knees. No boot turn. Flex in the foot, back and forth. And then the rocking side to side motion that I just love so dearly and can't say enough how much I do love it. So let's go on to her accessories. She comes with a set of open hands. Also this magical cube, which I totally forget what this is called. Um, I'll try to do some research while editing the video to see what it's called because I totally forgot. I only saw the movie once. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to revisit it because it's so good. But she does come with this. Now let's get a really good look at NJ. Thank you so very much for watching this episode of Toy Geek Maniac. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever Renson Productions upload the video. Also, if you're inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description. And as always, love and light to you all.